In the information age, knowledge is available as never before. So is misinformation that goes unchallenged. While not exclusive to crowdfunding, because it's so easy to accept, feel-good science steals money from people daily. This is especially true when it's coupled with an emotional appeal and tied to causes that anyone would be glad to support. This was how the trademark water seer operates, taking funds for what was an impossible device as originally proposed on the site Indiegogo. They hit all the emotional hot buttons, saving children in foreign countries, easing the burden of women there as well, all by developing a device that would condense water vapor from the air to replace the long trek some did daily in order to provide water for their families and themselves. Who could find fault in alleviating suffering and thirst? To help promote this idea, the developers of the campaign, VC Labs, participated in a contest at UC Berkeley to drum up interest in their non-electric miracle machine. They did this to piggyback off of Berkeley's reputation to the world, even though being involved did not imply endorsement of the water seer by the university. This was the CGI picture of the original concept for water seer. The idea was simplicity itself. The warmer upper chamber was connected to the cooler buried lower chamber causing condensation to occur. That accumulated condensation would be captured and used as pure drinkable water. There's just one problem. The concept won't work as designed and described. Temperatures will equalize between the two chambers and condensation will cease. Knowledgeable people knew immediately that this was the case because this was settled thermodynamic science for many years. This, however, did not deter the backers of Watershear, who chose to continue to buy into feel-good science than the actual science that was being shown them to debunk the project. They were determined to see things through for the sake of the children and mothers in the dry areas of the world. Science be damned! So they continue to go online to give money to a project that cannot perform as described. When the final water seer design was unveiled in physical prototype form, it was a far cry from what was shown in CGI renders at the beginning. Gone was the windmilling assembly at the top, the dumbbell-like chambers, and most important of all, the water seer now requires a steady supply of electric power in order to kind of function. That's right, they have made a dehumidifier. Device known to industrial nations for years and hardly useful or groundbreaking in the arid, unelectrified areas they were originally targeting in their campaign. What the people at VC Labs had to say about this is anyone's guess, but they're still accepting funds. Their feel-good science effort has robbed us all, though. The money they pulled in for something known at the outset could never work with funding that could have been used for things that could actually have helped people. It could have been used for education, for real science, or used to improve people's lives. That's why we say, feel good science robs everyone. Patreon support for this YouTube channel costs so little, but the information that we bring on a regular basis is priceless. Please help us. Go to the link below and help us thrive.